guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a concealer and I wanted to try it for myself so I figured I will film it. And it is the Dominique Cosmetics. It's called the Wide Awake Full Coverage Concealer. Now I got very curious about this concealer because of all the claims and I saw it a couple times on TikTok. So it's a natural, hydrated, and radiant finish with a medium to full coverage. And this claim, this they claim it's the first ever depuffing, cooling wand to awaken tired eyes. Now I know Huda Beauty, some one of her concealers has that metal tip as well. I don't know. So it's designed to pick up the perfect amount of concealer and avoiding cakiness. Now. Those claims are very lofty. So it is packed with caffeine to help boost circulation, minimizing the appearance of dark circles, which I have dark circles, infused with antioxidants and vitamin E to defend against environmental stressors. Stressor. Stressor. I can't say the word. Stressors. Okay. It's long wearing, lightweight. It melts into the skin, leaving you with a more wide awake look. Now, this retail for $26. I counted 17 shades. And you get a total of four mils. Came in this packet. The shade of the, con my chair is kind of squeaky all of a sudden. So if you hear that, it's my chair. Um, the color of the concealer is on the, it's on the, the box and I got the shade honey roast so let me get it out of the package and this is what the concealer looks like it's super cute it looks a little like Fenty and hmm looks a little light now I'm looking at it oh lord anyway so this is what the wand looks like look at that right so oh it feels it's literally so cold. Oh, it feels good. It's probably going to feel really good under my eye. Of course, I gave a bad swatch. Okay, so this is the shade. Okay, now I look at it. It's nice and golden. It's a nice highlighter shade. This is Honey Roast. I think it's pretty. So let's see, because I'm excited for this. And I got a few things from her brand. I think her brand is quietly doing some really nice things. Um, it comes with a setting powder, but it was only two. There was a really light one and a really dark one. There was nothing in between. I didn't want to get the dark one because I am not looking for a powder at all right now. And I love my under eye powder and the light one looked like really light. So I wanted everything fresh. So I'm going to do my foundation on camera. So this, I'm using the Glow Lust from Auric and this is in the shade Axonite. A little bit on here and just you know I want my face to have a little bit of a glow and a little bit of a bronze look all right so I've been trying to use like use up my foundation that I already own so I'm gonna go in with my this is one of my favorite foundations the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation I hate that my chair is squeaking so much it's annoying me so <clears throat> I hope it's not annoying you guys. All right, so now for the concealer. I can't wait to get this under my and it's true I'm not seeing a lot of product like on it so maybe that's why they claim it wouldn't be like uh cakey all right oh this feels so good it's like literally cold wow I don't know though if I love I mean applicator has to be metal but I feel like I'm gonna use a lot <laughs> because I like a lot of concealer so now this concealer is not only for under eye and the puffing you can highlight with it as well 
um, those were in the claims. So I am going to put it in the center of my face as well. See, I'm, I love a full coverage. So I can see myself building it up because um, she was right when she said um, it dispenses like a small amount. But oh, I can rub this under my eye all day. I hope it depuffs it because my eyes were a little puffy this morning. All right, so this is what the shade looks like. That's super pretty. It reminds me a little bit of the LYS shade that I love so much. All right, see? Oh. Okay, so this is, um, this is a learning curve with this applicator because as you can see, I'm not really, <laughs> like with these small areas, Okay, you know what, let me just do little dots. So since this is the first time I'm using it, I don't know if, but it doesn't feel like it would dry down fast. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit like I like to do. All right, so let's start blending it out. Okay. I love this. Oh, this is just melting into my skin. I wish she had like a medium shade powder to try to powder with it. Okay, right now I'm getting like a medium coverage. So if I want more, I definitely would have to build it up. But this is how it's looking. That was, that was nice. That was really nice. That was so easy to blend. Looks super pretty. Oh. Am I going to love this as well? Like my ABH? I like this, guys. Wow. Now, let me get a little serious hair because I'm just putting this on. I'm I'm playing around with it, but I'm looking. I am hope it's showing the way it's showing in my mirror here. But God damn, this is looking so beautiful under my eye. I just, well, I would know by now if it, if it, if it would crease. And it feels, oh, it feels so good. Wow, this is really nice, guys. This feels so nice. I think she did a thing here. And the smoothness of it, right? Oh, me and my eyes. I gotta get all up in there. Sorry, guys, with the magnifying part of my mirror. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't even feel like setting this with a powder. All right, guys, this is it blended out. This just took my face to a whole nother level. Wow. I mean, you guys can see this for yourself. Just first impression, I am so impressed with this concealer right now. Oh my God. Look how smooth and beautiful my skin looks. Mm. How many cosmetics? Yeah, back to this concealer. Mm. I'm loving this. This is everything. Wow, I am beyond impressed right now. Okay, it moved a little bit like right on the hair, but I was moving my eye and stuff, and I didn't set it yet. But it's not. It's not bad. I think the good things I've been hearing about it, it's true. This is beautiful, guys. This is a beautiful concealer. All right, let's set it with my Laura Mercier powder in Honey. I'm using my sponge from Amazon. And in my last video, my last Get Ready With Me video that's on my channel right now, I, um, I have a link to these sponges but you can get it on Amazon, but I have a link in my um, description box. I'm putting a little less than I would usually put. 
Okay, it's playing very nicely with the powder. Because sometimes, you know, concealers don't play nice with powder and it starts that roll up kind of thing. Oh, this concealer. Even better with the powder, right? Everything is so smooth and beautiful. And I feel like if you have aging under eyes, this would be good too. And I feel like my under, because I was feeling, my under eye was feeling a little like, Puffy-ish and stuff. This, oh my goodness, this just... You know how I go on when I like something, guys. I mean, you're seeing it for yourself. Beautiful. Let me finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and you guys need this. You need this concealer. Seriously. It's stunning. <laughs> I can think of a whole bunch of other adjectives, but... Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this so much. My under eyes look mwah, perfection. Oh, it's beautiful. No creasing. I can pretty much tell if a concealer is going to crease because it creases on me right away. So it's currently 1045, but I put this on maybe about 10 o'clock or so because I had so many interruptions in between me <laughs> finishing off my makeup. So what I'm going to do, I don't need to wear this all day or whatever, because I already know I love it. And But let's just see how it you know, wears for a couple hours. So I'm going to come back right before I pick up my son, which is just in a, maybe like, what, another three, four hours? But for right now, guys, how beautiful is this? How beautiful is this concealer? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Look at my under eye. It's just smooth. It's... The color is perfect. It just melted into the skin. Does not look cakey at all. Very natural looking. This, I think this is perfect for aging under eyes as well. And because what I look for in a concealer, I love full coverage, no creasing, not cakey. And the color, this um, Honey Roast is perfection. You guys need, need this concealer. Go on her website and purchase it. I'm encouraging all the bad behavior. Especially those of you who are in a no-buy, break it. Break it for this concealer. I'll see you guys in a couple hours. All right, guys. I am back as promised. It's now 1.15 p.m. So I put this on around 10, so it's um, about three hours, and this is all I need. This concealer is perfection. I mean... I don't know if this concealer is flying under the radar or what, but my God, it's beautiful. The formula, the way it looks under the eye, the consistency, the beautiful undertone of this shade Honey Roast. This little concealer right here, this is, I'm running out of superlatives and words. You need this concealer. You need to try this concealer. Like, I just want you guys to try this and see if you feel the same way I feel. Look at my under eyes. Just so beautiful, so soft like. It's the perfect concealer. It's the perfect concealer. Like, I can't believe I didn't really hear anything about this on YouTube. I saw a little bit about it on TikTok, and the person didn't even put it on. They were just waving it around. And I was like, oh, Domini Cosmetics. Wow, wow, wow. This is a fantastic concealer. I'm so much in love with it, guys. And I, I recommend this 10 out of 10. And I know this may not be something on your radar, Domini Cosmetics. But if you can, I want you guys to try this concealer. It is worth every penny. It's fantastic. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.